This is Radio Bath. It's an event as traditional as Thanksgiving, as patriotic as the 4th of July, and as anticipated as any Christmas morning. Oh, yes. This is Paul Mallon's show. Well, it's not really. I've just hung around a bit because, um, as I said when the show was on from 2 until 4, the plan was the uh, the Freemasons, who are cycling all over Somerset at the moment, raising money for various charities and uh, and basically trying to promote health and, uh, and well-being uh, among their membership and people in general... Um, we're planning to come in during the show because they would be leaving Canesham Masonic Hall at about lunchtime-ish. Come past Radio Bath Studio, which is just by the cycle track, take a quick diversion in to say hello, tell us what they're doing, and then carry on to the uh, Masonic Hall in Bath, which is situated uh, down in town behind Marks and Spencer. And, um, well... I don't know whether somebody had a puncture or there was a particularly large lunch put on for you in, in Canesham, but uh, I have in in the studio now, they finally arrived, um, Steve Collins and John Townsend, um, two Freemasons in their Lycra who have been cycling from... Well, you tell us the story. One of you... T- who's going to speak first? <laughs> John Townsend. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you gave me the call on the other side of Bristol and you said you got half an hour to be... So why were you late? You're the man. I had the puncture and there was a huge lunch laid on. But you were the man who I interviewed in this very studio. How old are you now? How old I'm you? 63. 60, it's three years ago. It must, no, it could have been three years ago. But you were doing your first Ironman. You were training to do a first ever Ironman in your 60s. And it's ridiculous, isn't it, really? I mean, for goodness sake, I, I'm... I'm so I'm in awe of myself. So, 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 don't give me any of that nonsense. You, get, you cycle here. You're like the lead cyclist, aren't you? You're the... No, um, I'm the one at the back, actually. I'm the sweeper. To, to yeah, push people it, along. In, do, push them off. So anyway, just, enough about you. Sorry. Tell us about, tell us about um, the Freemasons and the Cycling Club, Cycling Club, Cycling Association, and what you've been up to over the last Somerset few days. Somerset Masonic Cycling Association, which was started by a few fantastic people, one of whom is to my left and I think he's going to take it from here okay so the Somerset Masonic Cycling Association we set this up about like two years ago uh, the idea exactly as you introduced the program uh, health well-being uh, trying to get Freemasons out out and about and trying to encourage other people to join us in many ways uh, so the idea what, as cyclists or as Freemasons as or as both <laughs> good question that's a very good question uh, I think probably both uh, I think just to try and put a different picture on how Freemasons are, so maybe not such uh, old wrinkles after all. But um, well, you, I, I guess a lot of people have an idea of what they think a Freemason would look like. Uh, uh, you tend to think of the, these men in their dark suits with their briefcases, all congregating uh, for a big dinner or something. A uh, generally grey-haired old men. Um, so you're telling? Well, I'm looking at you both, and I can see that's not the case. But I'll let you tell us we're about st- it. Well, we're still grey-haired old men. But, but but what we're trying to do is just get out there and, and about. So on the jerseys, on the, the cycle shirts, you'll see Somerset uh, Masonic Cycle Association on most of the shirts. We're actually wearing, this one's actually a tour shirt with the, with the, uh, the charities on. Uh, when we, if we go out for a ride, which we started, we only actually started the rides because of COVID uh, the spring of last year. So we really only started properly since last year. And in that time, we were having monthly rides for about six months. The concept of the Tour de Temples, which are visiting every single Masonic centre in Somerset. How many of them? 26. So we're starting off in Minehead. I'll get, let John go through, go through some of the routes, but starting off in Minehead. Um, certainly for, from a concept point of view, we thought it was a good idea to embrace uh, as many Freemasons as we could, embrace the general public, let them see, let them see what we do. Get them to ask a question. So, one of the other. Th- so, have you been stopping to chat to people then, or are you just been breezing past? Um, breezing past a lot of the time. Uh, uh, we've got tour uh, legacy shirts, I like to call them. So, we've had t-shirts especially made up. So, when we're going to the, when we're staying in hotels at night, that would ma- many where the questions would come from. Mm-hmm. People would want to know <laughs> who are these strange men that have appeared, uh, all in like all wearing charity shirts, all wearing something, you know. They can, I don't think, connect, connect the two, but the response has been phenomenal. Uh, from a charity point of view, 
we set out for three charities, one of whom is in Bath, and will meet us at the end of the the, um, the cycle in about uh, an hour from now, I imagine. Designability in Bath. They're going to bring their products down to us, uh, which will be rather nice. Uh, yeah, so it's good. Okay, and and they're not. You um you primed John up ready to give us the route because it, it's not like a, an hour a cycle or a, or a two hour a cycle that you've done, is it? Well, these are all day routes. We you know we kicked off uh, what four days ago, yeah. and uh, it started off as Steve said in Minehead, uh, and we wind our way through. What was our first stop point? Because. Uh, we, 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 we don't think of them in days anymore. We're not saying Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're saying day one, day two, Jeez. day three, day four. I think day three was a tough one. That was the, uh, that's when we started in Illminster, uh, or as we renamed it, Hillminster. Because that, was, that, that was day two. That was day two, because day two? I'm, I'm, I've just pulled it up, actually. If, if, um, if you want more information, just uh, go to Google and, and put Somerset Freemasons and uh, there is a page on the Somerset Freemasons website, and, and it's uh, the Tour de Temples. And I'm looking at day one, Minehead to Watchit to Wiverliscombe to Wellington to Taunton to Langport to Illminster. I'm worn out just thinking about it, John. Hillminster, if you don't mind. <laughs> Hillminster. Hillminster, yeah. There were some cracking hills on the route, I must admit. But, you know... See, we... It's only somebody like you who would say that with a smile on your face. No, no, it's only when they're pointing not... down. Oh, yeah, 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 pointing yeah, down yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. we had some good ones. And toward the temples, we were actually went to uh, Wells Cathedral. Now there's a temple for you, and uh, uh, that was that was spectacular. But we have had fantastic support, and when we do go past people, we're shouting hello and thank yous and all the rest of it, and we're getting s- such good result results from it. And you know, like the traffic passing us, and people have been so kind; they've been waving their fists at us, <laughs> and beeping, and it's all—it's brilliant support. It encourages. Really and there was a little, there was a young guy in a souped-up car, and he couldn't do enough to express how pleased he was to see it. <laughs> it was great. I nearly dinged him with my bell in response, but I thought, no, Lovely. I'll save that for the Arctic's. So. Uh... You, you get some other um, organisations and they go out with their buckets and they shake them as they're going along and, um, you know, uh, all power to them. Have you been shaking buckets going along on bikes? How, oh, have, you, how have you done that? How have you, how have you tried to get money for the charities? How, how's that happened? The thing about masonry is that we raise money internally. And in some ways, you know, we don't really shout about it. We raise an awful lot of money inside the Association of Masonry. And what are what we're doing here, this charity, and we are supporting charities that are encouraging people to get out and about. That's what we want to do. We want to get people who are less fortunate than ourselves. We want to get them moving. We want to get them outside, feeling good about themselves, feeling good about the outside. There's nothing better than that. All the money comes from ourselves. OK, on that note, if you can hang around just for a little bit, let's play, play a, a tune here, and then we'll come back. And uh, I want to ask a little bit more about Freemasonry in general and maybe the cycling in particular in, in a couple of minutes. Made locally in Bath, this, this is Radio Bath. Fire and ice, this love is like fire and ice. This love is like rain and blue skies. This love is like sun and ice. This is Radio Bath. And this is Paul Marlon still in the studio. This is like a marathon of my own, isn't it? You know, I usually do two hours on a on a Monday and then two hours on a Saturday night. That's enough for me. But um, you guys have been cycling now for four days. And it's been... I, I was saying to uh, Steve when he came in, I said, oh, you've got brilliant weather for it. And then I saw how hot you're both looking and I'm trying to say this in the politest way yes. but it's, it's been a bit of a slog hasn't it? It's been a bit of a slog well it depends for me it's been a slog I think for John it's a bit of a breeze it's the first time I've seen him in a sweat since he put a sweat uh, on <laughs> but, it's, but you know he's sweating for a, for a good cause because uh, t- tell us a little bit more about you know the, the good causes that you're doing it for you're not just doing it for fun are you? <laughs> I'm uh, using the word fun very loosely yeah, there. So, you know, I think I was thinking that halfway round as well. <laughs> well I'd, no, th- so we've got uh, three charities on this particular run. So we mentioned the one earlier connected to Bath, which is Designability. You do a wonderful uh, making d- disabled vehicles, effectively. So. Are they the Whizzy Bugs? The Whizzy Bugs. I heard about them. Whizzy Bugs. They're actually going to come down to Bath Masonic Hall, uh, actually, after this after this uh, interview. After, and w- So they're going to come down and meet us all. And so that's great interaction with the charity. So we are doing our best to get also 
out and about with the charities. That's that's one. The second one is a one based out of Bar, uh, Bridgewater in Taunton. That's called On Your Bike. Another great charity. They they give people a, a leg up in life. People who've maybe fallen on hard times or trying to get a, a job, looking for ex- work experience, getting references. Uh, so that they work very hard cl- closely with, with the various community. They, people can go to them, they can get uh, experience on how to fix bicycles, they can get qualifications, and they can use that as a reference point going forward. So we actually went down to On Your Bike to have a, a, a maintenance course that they kindly provided for us in advance of this ride. And by pure chance, in my case, I had a, a squeaky seat post. <laughs> I wondered what you were going to say yeah. then. <laughs> was it a bicycle thing <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> or yeah. anatomy? Yeah, so it was a squeaky bike post. Yeah. And so on your bike in Taunton, took it, took it around to them, um, straight away, stripped the bike down, put it all back together. That was a nice coincidence. We're raising money for them. They, they helped us on our way. But um, there was a couple of incidents on the way around where uh, bicycle shops, anyone, there was a problem because you were cycling for a charity, you wheel your bike in, and they say, and you say what your problem is, just fix it straight away, it won't take any money. Wow. That was very good. So that's the second one on your bike. And the third one is Life Cycle UK. So they're based in Bristol, they're covering Somerset, they're encouraging everyone to get on their bikes and enjoy the countryside and the wonderful part of the world that we live in. So it's all about cyclists then? Uh, well, this one, yes. This <laughs> you, one, yeah, because we do other things, you know, we, we look after other people. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, so... Uh, I've come back from a... Uh, I was just going to say, you're you're not a stranger to this, you know, talking about this being a bit of a marathon, five days on your bike or, f- yeah, five days on your bicycle in this sort of heat. Uh, but that's not, you're not a stranger to that, are you? No. <laughs> well, what should have happened, I should have gone out to the Sahara for a five-day hike in November. And through COVID, that was postponed. The only country to, I think it was the only country to stop UK flights flying into the airspace was Morocco which is where we were flying into. So we actually did a, fi- actually did a five-day hike along with uh, 30 f- 33 other people. Collectively, we raised 100,000, over 100,000 now, for our various charities. My particular charity I raised uh, was for SAFA, the, the military charity. Uh, so we've, we've got a nice connection with them going as well. So we're trying to be, so we are more interactive with charities uh, and just doing our best, doing our best for others. I tell you, that's great. It's uh, because you know we're on hard times for everyone at the moment with the uh, the price squeeze and and the um, everyone's income sort of falling behind because of interest rates and and gas prices and everything else. So uh, there are so many more people that need a hand now than than in the past. And I know the Freemasons in Bath also did something called Square Meals all through the lockdown. And we're making meals for people, uh, thousands and thousands of meals, and delivering them to various charities around Bath, including, is it Mercy in Action, just along the road from here? Yes. And they were they were um, putting them out. So uh, the Freemasons doing lots of good stuff that you don't hear about, really. No, you don't. That's very Why true. is that? I think it's a little bit historic that we tended to... <sighs> Dare I say a bit of humility? I'm very good at humility, me. Um, <laughs> dare I say a bit of humility? We tended to keep it just to ourselves, and we would we would like to raise money, do good causes, and because we're not bound by any committees or anything like that, if there's a place in need, we will be the first ones in. There's no messing about. So if there's a, a typhoon that's hit a country somewhere, our attitude is that first assistance, that first cash, basically... You need to you need to buy stuff. We'll give you the money immediately, like the next day. And I know on the news, then you hear how about all the donations and everything else. Most of the time, we've been in there first. Not as much, but early money. It's so vital. But and it, yeah. yeah, we're, we're Freemasons. We're free to choose where we give that money, and we give a lot of money. Well, I'll tell you what. Let, oh, Steve looks like he wants to say something. Yeah, I wants to say, interrupt. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, so the way Freemasonry works, we tend to look at. Yes, we do raise a lot of money, but we raise it f- at different levels. So, so for example, each individual lodge will be involved in a, in a, in a temple where, around the province. In my case, Yatton. So because we're based in Yatton, we all do our very best to look after charities in and around Yatton. And so the other lodges will do their best going to the community. So that could be scouts, it could be guides, it could be anything at all. And it, 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 yeah, anything at all. The next level is provincial where you get the province of Somerset or the pro- various provinces around the country, they in turn will look at bigger projects and bigger sums of, bigger sums of money. And then we've got Grand Lodge, based out of London. 
and they in turn will look at bigger projects again. So that could be for a medical student, even up to funding some of the research. So there's, there's lots of ways that Freemasons help at different levels. So if there's a temple near you, which again you can see on Somerset Freemasons or you can, you can see the various temples and you can see the work that we're doing. It's right what you're saying, Paul, that we were almost hidden. Uh, we are gradually coming out on Facebook, on social media. We're starting to come out of, of the sort of things that we are, we're now doing. Well, I'll tell you what, Steve, hold that thought. We'll play some more music and then we'll um, we'll hear a little bit more about how you're not quite so hidden. And I can, I can vouch for that at the moment. I'm looking at these two. Uh, all right, JT, you're, you're a slim, athletic t- chap. Steve, I'm, I don't want to be rude, but <laughs> I'm not you're athletic. not a racing snake, are you? Okay. And, and you're built, wearing I, I, very I, bright li- a blue lycra. I'm, and I'm built for downhill cycling. <laughs> Same here. Actually, I'm, I'm built for motorbiking, thanks. <laughs> Made locally in Bath. This, this is Radio Bath. You never know how good you have it. Uh-huh. Across Bath and West Wiltshire. This is Radio Bath. And all across Somerset have been the Freemasons Cycling Association. They started off on Friday at Minehead when they cycled to Watch It with Liscombe, Wellington, Taunton, Langport, Ilminster. Then Saturday from uh, Chard to Crewkern to Yeovil to Wincanton to Bruton to Shepton Mallet. And then Sunday Froome to Midsummer Norton to Wells to Glastonbury to Bridgewater. And then Burnham to Western Supermare, Yatton, Clevedon, Nailsey, Canesham and they're on their way to Bath now. They should be arriving at the Bath Freemasons Hall in, what, half an hour's time, something like that? I think so, yeah. Um, so we've got uh, two guys have um, split off the Peloton or Peloton or whatever it's called. Uh, what do you call a, a, a Peloton. Gr- I, you know, I feel absolutely worn out. You just reading that lot. I know, it's a long way. You, know, you read it out and you say, we've done all these things. It doesn't feel that way. Because we were we were 15-odd guys who've come together. We didn't really know each other that well. But we've bonded so well. You know, we've glued together. We are old mates now. And in, in many ways, that's the sort of charities that we're supporting to get people out there and to get that kind of feeling. It's brilliant. And you know, we're Somerset Masons. If you want to be, If you want to find out what Somerset Masons are doing... Just type in Somerset Masons. It will take you straight. It's that easy. It is as easy as that. You live in Somerset, you're interested in Masons, Somerset Masons. Type it in. And it'll, it'll, t- and it'll tell you everything about Freemasons? You know, we're getting right modern we are these days. Are we now? Masons, yeah. <laughs> for, for a bunch of old blokes, and we're not just old blokes, by the way, we start off at about 18 years old. That's, that's not old. So anyone can join? 18 plus. 18 plus it's a society for men our motto making good men better cool that's what we try to do okay i think that's almost rounded everything up isn't it anything you want to add uh, just giving if, you, if anybody would like to give to the uh, to, to the, support our mammoth cycle ride it'd be very welcome uh, if you go to the somerset masonic cyclist association uh, on the website we are on there. We have a just giving page. We're currently just over six thousand pounds, ho- hoping to get close to fifteen. And every penny, every single penny pledged, goes directly to the charity. So nothing goes to admin or anything like that, or hotels for you on the way here. And nothing. Well, no, every single penny goes directly to to the charities. We Brilliant. we have been self supported our way well, the whole way around, and equally, as I say, the money goes in goes one hundred percent out to all the charities. Well, I'll tell you what, Steve and John, thanks ever so much for. Well, thank um, you taking a detour off of your cycle track to come and see us here in Radio Bath and tell us about what you're doing. And the next song is probably quite appropriate. It's called I'm Still Standing. Comes from Elton and John. And if anybody wants to go and have a look in the um, the Masonic Hall, you're all going to be there in about half an hour. Can they? Can somebody just walk in and, of course they can. and yeah. come and say hello and have a look? It's not what you think. It's completely open. Yeah, pop on down. In fact, the Bath, the bath Hall is open at all times. We do tours. You can book in a tour and have a look around. Not a problem. Excellent. It's fascinating. Okay, but if you're if you're wandering about in town at the moment, um, the cycling Freemasons are going to be arriving there uh, from a few mi- few minutes time, and the uh, the charity Motability are going to be there as Motability Designability, Designability are going to be there as well. Um, go in, have a chat, and um, let's see what's going on. Thanks for listening uh, to me and my show from two o'clock, an extended one today. And we'd better hear from some of our sponsors, I think. And then we've got Ian taking over the drive show from five. So have a great evening. 
Made locally in Bath. This is Radio Bath. 